What's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to be showing you some updates to the MailChimp landing page creator that you're going to love. So stay tuned. It's coming up next. So let's get right into the changes, the awesome updates that MailChimp has put into the landing page creator. Now it's been a while since I've done the landing page video. I think it was back in December or November. You can check out that video right here and that will take you to where I talk about the landing page creator and how to set it all up. But just to familiarize yourself with it, you gotta go over here and you gotta click down here to create a landing page. So I went to create a campaign click on that button, click on create a landing page, and it'll take you to this. Now it'll take you, it'll give you an option here to uh, put in a landing page name, and we'll just put in test because that's how I like to do things, and then you select your list. I will select marketing newsletter. And click begin. Here are some of the changes. First off, right at the bottom on the right hand side, we have need ideas. And this is where they're gonna give you some nine design tips to walk you through some of the landing pages that convert. I'm not gonna go through all of them here. I'll leave a link in the description below this video for you to go check it out. Now we get into the fun stuff. There are three new things that MailChimp has put in, plus a fourth option that uh, I have asked them for, and they said, yeah, I can see why we would need that. So let's get into that first option that I asked them to put in and I'm sure others have too, and that is to put in all available fields that you have up in your signup forms. So you have your email, and that's all we had in the first original uh, version of the landing page creator. Now we have access to all of our fields that we have in our signup forms. So I can put in first name, last name, and even a group that I set up for folks to check off to put in uh, if they want to get blog posts. Now all of that shows up in the landing page creator, which is really cool. I'll keep first name and last name. And the rest of the stuff is all the same. The three other things, the other three blocks that they put in is social share, that wasn't in there before, uh, and product. So now maybe you don't need to do uh, two separate landing pages. Uh, instead of an opt-in and a product, and they still have that option, you can do a product in an opt-in, which is really cool. So you just drag over your product here and make sure you have your stores connected. I have two WooCommerce store, actually three, because I'm testing one. I have three stores connected and I can pick and choose which one I want and which product to bring in. And they'll even tell you what the best sellers are if they've been tracking your data for a while. That's another option there. And then we also have this thing called a promo code. Now this gave me some fits when I first tried to do it. I've been getting this. Please verify that there are active codes in your store and your e-commerce integration is up to date. I actually got it to work on this one. And that is because I had to, I, I don't know if it was the case of me just resyncing it a few times, which is what I did. And also I added in a test coupon code so you put in your coupon code in your woocommerce store and it will show up here in this drop down list but again i had to do that a couple of times i had to uh, do a test add in a test uh, coupon code and i had to resync about three or four times in order to see it i tweeted out to bailchimp to see if the, what the problem was and they came back and said, are you sure that this is not working? And I said, yeah, and here's the screenshot, which is that yellow error message I got. And they said, and before they could reply to me, it I re resynced it the third time and it was able to work. So make sure when you're doing this promo code that you resync your WooCommerce, your MailChimp for WooCommerce plugin, the one from MailChimp to make sure that it actually syncs and it works. So let's go over some of the features that you have. Obviously you put in the, I'll put in the test and it shows up here. You can add in a description above the text, which is something that the MailChimp recommends that talks about the requirements for the promo. If you have to purchase so many and that type of stuff and what the percentage is off or, or, or whatever your promo is. 
Okay, so that's your description. And then you also have uh, an expiration date that you can put in. And also you can do the, obviously the, the shop now or buy now or whatever, and then the URL to the store. So a lot of new features that you can dive into to create your landing page creator. And again, the landing page creator is meant to be a standalone thing. You cannot embed it into your WordPress website or you, or any type of website, Wix, Weebly, whatever. It's supposed to be a standalone URL that you share out through social media. I know I get a lot of questions on that and I just wanna put that in this video as well. So there you go, guys. Some new options in MailChimp landing page creator. Hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. For more information about me, go to larrysnow.me and I'll see you in the next video.